Hello everyone, this is Norman Harris, and today we're going to be working from Math 2000, Problem Set Homework Number 4. We're going to be doing Question 1. Now Question 1 reads, find the integral of the square root of 1 plus sine squared of x minus 1 times sine of x minus 1 times cosine of x minus 1. Now you can already see there are similar terms within this integral. To solve this, we're going to use multiple substitutions. So to start off, we're going to make this substitution u equals x minus 1. Now as we go through finding this integral, I'm going to be putting out to the side what each variable or substitution we're setting um, u equal to or v equal to or w equal to. Um, the name of the uh, variable that we used to do substitution uh, doesn't matter. But what we need to make sure, always sure that we do is that we do move back in du dv and dw. So to start off, u is going to be equal to x minus 1. Now luckily, um, when you take the derivative of this, all you simply get is 1 from the x, and negative 1 is a constant, so that's, um, it doesn't matter. So really, du is equal to dx. So then we plug that in, so we get this. Now we see more common terms here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to set v. It doesn't matter what the name of your substitution is, but we're going to set v equal to sine of u. Now let's go ahead and take the derivative of sine of u. And what you want to look to do is when you're doing the substitutions, you want to look to take um, substitute something that's within. So here it's actually 1 plus sine squared, 2 to 1 half. So you want to look to substitute something that's within another function, as in we substituted x minus 1, which is within sine of x. So the derivative of this is going to be equal to cosine of u. Also, to substitute things where the derivative cancels out. So luckily here, v is going to be equal to sine of u, but dv is equal to cosine of u, so this is actually going to cancel out. So this is actually going to transfer to, this is going to transfer to integral 1 plus v squared times v, but then you have a cosine of u over another cosine of u, so that becomes neg negligible. So it's really this. So then, next thing we're going to do is we're going to do more substitution. So we have 1 plus v squared, and so we're going to make w equal to 1 plus v squared because it's within the radical. So when we take the derivative of that, the reason I chose 1 plus v squared is because when you take the derivative of this, you will find that, oh, actually I need to put my dx's on the end of these, do not forget to do that. You will find that you'll take the derivative of a constant, that becomes negligible, but then you have 2v dx, and so the v over 2v is going to give you 1 half, so you're really going to get this, you're going to get an integral from 1 plus v squared, um, I'm sorry, you're not going to get that. You're going to get integral w is equal to 1 plus v squared of v over 2v. That's going to cancel out to a 1 half. You're going to get this. And then all you have to do from here is simply just integrate. And so you get um, the integral 1 half w to the 1 half is going to be equal to, so you go plus 1 to the exponent, which is 2, so 2 over 2 plus 1 over 2 is going to be 3 over 2, and then you also have to multiply, so it's going to be 1 half um, 2 times w to the um, 3 halves over 3, and then you're going to see that these 2's are going to cancel, so really you get this to the 3 halves over 3 plus c. Now all you have to do is go back and substitute. So we write out to the side, go back in reverse. So we have, go from this step, to this step, then to this step, and you can easily see which is which. So w is equal to one plus v squared. So we do this. It's the first step of substitution. Now we go from one plus v squared to sine of u. So, d is equal to sine of u, so we're going to get now 
we just plug in for u, we get x minus 1. So we're going to get this. This right here is your final answer. This is equal to the integral of the square root of 1 plus sine squared of x minus 1 times the sine of x minus 1 times cosine of x minus 1. And all we did here was apply substitutions and then replace our steps. Steps. Make sure what you do is that you always take the derivative and look for ways to cancel out. This is Norman Harris working question number one from homework four from the class Math 2000.